Hello everyone, I'm Tigger. On this channel, we show family-rated movies based on games like these, starring these characters and many more. Please consider subscribing to be notified every time a new chapter is released. Just click on my picture down there. So on with tonight's feature presentation. Welcome to the cruise. We hope you have a lovely time. Oh, thank you. This is my first vacation in such a long time. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy your stay. Thanks. It's fine sailing weather, and she looks like a sturdy vessel. Oh, am I the last to board? Yes, you are. I'll just close up the ship now. Julie, don't go. Buddy, what are you doing here? We're about to leave. Don't. I want to be with you. Really? Oh, buddy. I can't believe it. I never thought you'd do that for me. For you, I'd become captain of the ship. Is everything ready, Miss McCoy? That's pretty good. Miss McCoy. Miss McCoy. Miss McCoy. Miss McCoy. Is everything ready for the passengers? Yes, sir. We're all set up. Very good. Make them feel at home and answer any questions they may have. You okay, Julie? Yeah. It was just some... Weird dream. It sounded weird, all right. Like you were getting friendly with your buddy. Welcome aboard. Hi, I'm Matt, and this is my second cousin, Tricia. We just got married. Well, that's nice. Keep it in the family, I, I always say. Have a great trip. Oh, let me get your key card. I'm Pam, and this is my husband James. He used to be my sister's husband. I... I always make decisions too early and regret it later. While well, you're mine now. That's right, Jen. What did you say? Oh, uh, that's right, Pam. Okay. Well, you two have a nice time. Hi, I'm Mary. And I write crime novels. Tell me, has a murder ever been committed aboard the ship? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, that is a shame. I'm always looking for inspiration. Well, all right then. You never know. Perhaps something ghastly will happen. Let's hope not. Hi, gorgeous. What are you doing later? What do you have in mind, sailor? Uh-oh. I think I'm in love. Well, that'll teach me to give my heart to a man of the sea. Hi, I'm Miss Edwards. Welcome, Miss Edwards. Yes, you're on the promenade deck, cabin 351. I'm cruise director Julie McCoy, and this is Dr. Bricker. Call me Adam. And I'll call you beautiful. Don't call me. I'll call you. 
What is this strange power you have over women? She's just not in her holiday mood yet. Give her mariachis, margaritas, and the Mexican moonlight. She'll come around. So, get her drunk at night? Classy as always, Doc. Here's your complimentary mimosa, sir. Oh, why yes, thank you. Bottoms up. Madame, would you care to celebrate the start of the cruise with us? You're so kind. Does your husband work on the ship with you? I'm not married. My work keeps me very busy. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sure you'll meet someone before long. Hmm. <laughs> There she is again, my one and only. Oh, why don't you quit while you're behind? We're only in the first inning. Hi, couldn't find your cabin? Hmm? Oh no, but um, maybe you'd like to show me sweet cheeks. I'd be delighted. Although, it's only fair to warn you, I don't believe in kissing on the first date. Oh? So when are we going to have our second? Any time now. It seems the holiday mood kicked in quickly. Who is it? It's me. It's open. Hiya, sis. How's it going so far? I'm scared to death. For traveling on one ticket? Relax, we won't get caught. Besides, it's a great way to meet guys at half the price. Well, you go get a man if you want. I'll settle for a tan. Oh, and I don't use glasses. We're supposed to be one person, remember? Just take them with you then. I don't want to go strolling overboard. Now, I'm setting the alarm on our phones. We each get equal time. When it goes off, you come right back and I'll take your place. Be sure to do the same when it's your turn. Would I shortchange my own sister? Are you... Are you sure it's safe? I've never been on a ship before. Of course it's safe. And nothing will happen to us? Denise, this is a pleasure cruise. They're not gonna dump us on a beach and leave us there. Just relax. Relax? Oh, that's easy for you to say. You haven't been president of the PTA for the past two years. Parents screaming, teachers screaming, all of them screaming at me. I know. That's why I thought that... And you're not a den mother. You didn't take 29 girls on a trip last Sunday. Do you know how scary it is to go to a theme park with 29 little girls? And come home with 30? Denise, anyone can make a mistake. Oh, the car keys. I forgot the car keys. Easy. Don't you remember? I drove us here. Oh, that's right. My nerves are as tight as a drum from all this. Exactly. That's why you need a vacation. You've never arranged a vacation in all the years we've been married. Why now, all of a sudden? And why a cruise? Because that's the kind of rest you need. There are so many people on board. Don't worry, the ship can handle it. I need to wear a life jacket now. Where is it? Relax, madam. We are safe. Hi, Julie. Hi. We're Bert and Denise Fredericks. Yes, of course. 
You're in cabin 104 on the promenade deck. Go up the stairs, through those doors, and forward. Right. Thanks a lot. You were acting as if you knew her. I don't know her. I didn't say you knew her. I said you acted as if you knew her. You said, Hi, Julie. Well, that's her name. My name's Denise, but she didn't say, Hi, Denise. You're not wearing a name tag that says, Denise. She's wearing a name tag that says, Julie. Listen, honey, I forgot something downstairs. I'll be back in a minute. Let me call you right back. Excuse me, Julie. I just wanted to remind you. I'm the one who called for the surprise birthday party for my wife. Yeah, I know. Why don't you call me later and we'll make plans. Right. I thought you didn't know her. I don't know her. Then how come you were whispering to a perfect stranger? I told her you were concerned about the safety of the ship and asked her to tell the ship's captain to please drive carefully. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Did she say she would? Welcome aboard. I'm Yeoman Purser Smith. Go for it to my friends. I just made up my mind that you two are my friends. Congratulations. Excellent. I can't wait to sample the benefits. I am Francois, and this is my friend Sally. We're from Happyville, thus our accents. Ah, uh, yes. Well, let's see now. We have you in cabin 13. This sure is a lovely ship. Reminds me of the very first cruise me and Francois ever took. Oh, you've taken quite a few voyages? Let's just say In the Navy is one of my favorite songs. Ever since we saw Titanic with our double dates, the four of us vowed to take a cruise every year. Ah, I take it your significant others are also sailing with us then? Sadly, neither relationship survived to the end of me announcing the proposal. But Sally and I decided to hold up our part of the bargain anyway. Like those medieval monks used to wish they could say, an oath, an oath. Well, I hope your voyage with us proves the high watermark of your tradition. My body is already accustomed to arising at noon sharp every day. So no worries there. I forget where this boat's even going. No, wait, don't tell me. Spoilers. Golf. My boys on the other cruise lines warn me about this jinxed Happyville duo who leave a trail of carnage on every ship they sail on, named Francois and Sally. Eyes, please. Those are both very common names. And there's no such thing as a jinx. Hex is sure, but... I gotta say, this trip looks like it's going to be really interesting. Good morning, group. I said, good morning. Oh, morning, sir. Everything ready to set sail? Yes, sir. I'm just checking if we're still missing any passengers. And... Buddy! Take over for me. Hi, I'm Buddy Stanfield. Buddy? Why does that sound familiar? Let me show you the ship, fella. Sorry, Buddy. <sighs> Time to open the shop, I guess. Wow, 
What's that strange sound? Is the ship supposed to move like this? <sighs> Denise, please stop worrying. Trust me, this trip is going to leave you breathless. I think I figured out your secret. You have? It must have hurt when you fell from heaven. Oh, don't you worry. This conversation is much more painful. Enjoying the cruise so far? Ah, yes. The ship's so big, and the weather's so mild. It barely feels like we're moving at all. Exhilarating. Well, as we're fond of saying here, there's no such thing as bad weather. Only different kinds of good weather. Speaking of which, where's your lovely friend? Up there, on the observation deck. Isaac told her about a drink called the Fire Arrow, and she just had to have one. Ah, those. How specialty. By the way, my flaming martini here seems to have gone out. Oh, allow me, sir. Never mind. I have some fireworks in my cabin. Yeah! Yikes! Here, let me help. Good thing I was here. Feel better? It stings. But yeah, thanks. Ow! Ow! Wanna talk? What happened over there? I've never seen you panic like that. Not even the time the captain discovered you were hiding a chimpanzee in your room. Ah. Uh. I miss Suzu. Don't worry, Doc. It's probably nothing. Just my brain playing some tricks on me. Well, you know where to find me if you figure out the trick. If you're not too busy with your new one and only, that is. What happened? They think there's a jinx. No, I don't. Really? Because Sally and Francois are over there, and they seem to need help. Can you take care of it? Um, I just... Hey, Gopher. How's your wrist? Worse, thanks. Oh. Here it is. Buddy Stanfield. Hi, do you have a professional photographer here? Oh yes, we have, but I don't know where he is. I'll see if he's in the restaurant. I can't find the photographer. What does he look like, anyway? Just some guy carrying a camera in uniform. You'll know him when you see him. No luck. Still can't find him. Can I ask you instead? Just take candid shots of my wife, please. I'm so sorry, sir, but my hands are full right now. I'll try to find the photographer and let him know. This is really urgent. My wife's birthday is in a few days. I need to make sure that everything is perfect. Don't worry. I'll search for the photographer and tell him to work on this ASAP. If you can't find the photographer, any staff will do. I'll go ask around as well. I'm not sure if we're allowed to do that, but I'll ask around. Look, I'm not really that much of a photographer, even when I have both of my wrists healthy. All I need is some candid shots of my wife. Then I can have them blown up and hang them on the wall at the party. I can get them blown up. I mean, that's no problem. Then neither are some candid shots, right? What do you say? Okay. Thanks. Just please don't let my wife see. I want this whole thing to be a surprise. Don't worry. 
Your wife wants you a thing. My old job was as a hotel detective. Hi, honey. And ever since that monkey came on board, I have to lock my cabin every night. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Well, back to work. Got to help the captain find Acapulco. We're lost? It was a joke, Denise. You know, he seemed very strange to me. A very sneaky man. Oh, you're right. It's his job, you see. He's the assistant sneak. Very funny. Come on, Denise. Lighten up, will ya? Excuse me. I think this sun lotion should meet your requirements. Is there anything else I can get you? How about a date with Ryan Gosling? Um, would you settle for a pillow? Would you? Listen, I saw you talking with that cute doctor before, but I haven't seen him around anymore. Oh, he must be in his office. I'm sure the sunburns are starting to come in by now. I guess I might not need that, after all. Two screwdrivers, please. Hold the orange juice. Sure thing, fella. Oh, and Isaac? Um, put a little extra in mine. You got it. Hey, Gof. How long did Doc say you have to wear that thing? About a week. It sprained, you know. It's funny, Isaac. All this happened right after I spoke with that jinxed couple you mentioned. Maybe you were right. What? You thought I was serious? I just saw them, and nothing bad happened. Maybe you're just a klutz. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Oh, so now you were joking. Uh-huh. Okay, then. Man overboard. I'll have a bartender float. Uh, hope you don't mind sparkling. Yeah, you're right. I'm the klutz. <laughs> have to say, Clarine's not a bad chaser. My teeth have never felt lighter. Well, the jeweler was supposed to have the bracelet ready before I left. But it didn't come through, so now I don't have a birthday present for Denise. Tell you what, I'll come down to the gift shop with you later and help you pick something out. Oh, that'll be hard. Every time I turn around, Denise is there. Well, then why don't you come with me now? I can't. If I stay away too long, Denise will get suspicious. Maybe I can try and come up with some excuse. Tomorrow at noon? Listen, I gotta go. Tomorrow noon sounds perfect. Bye. Oh, honey! Can I join you? Or is your friend coming back? My friend? The girl you don't know? You mean Julie? Oh, come on. She's just doing her job, trying to keep the passengers happy. Strange. I'm a passenger, and she hasn't sat down with me once. Denise, please. What were you two talking about? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Just small talk. Okay. Listen. I was thinking we could check out the mini golf. Say, tomorrow at noon? Oh, that's not good. 
I have a massage appointment. You know, my back. Better go first thing in the morning, okay? Sure. I'll just find something else to do at noon. Come in. Oh, sorry. I can come back some other time. Something wrong, Miss McCoy? Oh, no. No, nothing. Everything's fine. Julie, get back in here. You know, strange as it may seem, I'm not just a captain. I'm also a human being. Maybe I can help. Well, I have a personal problem. Oh, wait, wait. I can see it now. Tall, confident, three-piece suit, maybe a lawyer? How did you know? Well, I watched you hide behind me when he came aboard. Ex-boyfriend? Old flame? A raging inferno. So many things on my mind right now. Take a deep breath. If you need anything, just call me. I felt such mixed emotions when I saw him come aboard. Well, why don't you just stay there and take a break in the meantime? I can't stop thinking about him. Our memories together? Get it together, Julie. He's not the only passenger here. I hope this cruise will end quickly. Maybe it's just a nightmare that I need to wake up from. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. There's nothing that Miss McCoy can't handle. So what's the deal with you and Mr. Raging Inferno? We met in Paris. Just a couple of strangers walking in the park. It turned into three of the most wonderful weeks of my life. I was young. He was worldly. I was so crazy about that guy that I quit my job at the airline, sold my car, and moved to Los Angeles to be with him. Serious stuff. We were madly in love. Inseparable. Two nights a week. Uh-oh. Let me take a wild guess. He was married? He kept promising he'd leave her. Kept telling me I was the one he truly loved. I thought it would kill me. I was full of girlish dreams of rose-colored cottages and tuna fish casseroles and quiet evenings at home. That could kill you too. Anyway, he's here now and he's traveling alone. What do I do? Well, I think... Leaving him was the hardest thing I ever did. When I saw him, all those feelings came rushing back. How can I stay out of his way? Well, in my opinion... I can't just avoid him for a whole week. I mean, sooner or later we're going to run into each other. And then, how will I handle it? Well, I feel that... I'll handle it the same way any mature, grown-up person deals with a situation that's hard to handle. I'll deal with it when the time comes. Captain, thank you for all your advice. Glad I could help. You wise old owl. Doc, Doc, it happened again. The Jinx just got Isaac. Ah. Uh. Hey, Doc. How long do I have to wear this stupid collar? Until the soreness goes away. That's your answer for everything. Just say you're going with a turtle. I know you like him old, shy, and soft on the inside. You keep laughing at my neck, and you're going to end up with your mouth in a sling. Hey, cool it, Isaac. Same boat. Yeah, the Titanic. Doc, I tell you, this couple is a jinx on our ship. Oh, come on. Your only jinx is wearing leather-soled shoes by a slippery pool. I don't know. He did set my hand on fire. So what are you idiots suggesting? 
get a priest to exorcise the ship? Exorcisms? Don't be ridiculous. See? Now you're being rational. Bad luck's not priest stuff. For this, we need a witch doctor. What are you looking at me for? Come in. Oh, there you are, Isaac. We just wanted to make sure you were all right after we laughed at your neck injury and to make sure we didn't owe you for those drinks. Oh yeah, I'm fine. Just don't stand quite so close, please. Oh, um, uh, this is Dr. Bricker. Doc, this is Francois and Sally. That awesome couple we were just talking about. Doctor? Yes, I know. Well, we're glad you're okay, Isaac. Collar technology's come so far. See you later. That's the Jinx couple? Are you petrified of Burns and Alan, too? Okay, fine. Be sarcastic. You're just lucky you're still on one piece. Oh, sure. I bet you think black cats and walking under ladders are bad luck, too. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. I'm glad to see you're feeling better too, Gopher. Your hand looks way less burnt with the bandage on. Lates. Oxy, third drawer. Enough for all of us. What happened to you? Cut yourself shaving? No, I got banged up fighting off three women to get to you. Oh, I hope tomorrow you can say it was all worth it. I was wondering when I'd see you again. I've got to say, this new color really brings out your eyes. I guess I went a little overboard trying to get a tan. Don't worry, I'm kind of an expert in sunburns. Just use this for a couple of days and you should be good as new. Thanks, Doc. Although, I think I might need some help reaching my back. How about we get dinner first? Tonight, at the Promenade Restaurant? I'll see you there. Wasn't it me that was supposed to get the tan? What are you doing outside? They can't see us together. Well, I was getting impatient. I finished my whole book while I was waiting in there. And I don't even get to know what happens next, because we're on a ship and there's no way to buy the sequel. Well, sorry. I was in the infirmary. There was a line. Anything else I should know? You're not getting yourself into trouble, are you? Of course not. Oh, we're having dinner at the Promenade Restaurant tonight. Whoa! My lotion truly is miraculous! Well, this is all looking great. You'll be able to use your hand normally in no time. Finally! I've still got to take some pictures of that woman. Gopher, you know you can't do that with our passengers. It's not like that. This guy, Mr. Fredericks, is organizing a surprise party for his wife. And I was supposed to get some candid shots of her. I better get going. Ah! Honey, I need to leave already. You're really gonna go, aren't you? I bet you'd rather be on this cruise alone, wouldn't you? Of course not. Just you and the little pretty blonde. That's ridiculous. Look, we'll talk when I get back. Listen, I don't think I'm going to be able to come up to the gift shop. Why's that? Denise is feeling a little... paranoid. I think I need to get back and calm her down. Well then, what's our plan B? I don't know. She never leaves me alone. 
Then there's only one thing we can do. We'll just have to get rid of her. It's not a bad idea. Damn, I almost had it. Good evening. How are you coming along with your, um, problem? Gone, sir. Are you coming down with a cold? No. No, sir. I'm fine. Well, I think you should go see Dr. Bricker right away. Yes, sir. Dr. Bricker's office is on the next deck? Yes, sir. I'd know that perfume anywhere. Hi, baby. Should we get something to eat? I... I don't know if that's such a good idea. It's been too long, Julie. I've missed you. I guess one dinner would be fine. It's nice to see you again, you know? It's nice to see you, too. Who's the guy sitting with Julie? No idea, but she has those puppy dog eyes. That must be Buddy. Julie told us the whole story. It's pretty nasty. Think I'd better try and lend her a hand. Well, it certainly doesn't look like she needs your help. Hi there. Mind if I sit down? Well, mind if I stand up? Buddy, this is Adam Bricker, another of our walking wounded. Adam, this is Buddy Stanfield. Pleasure trip? Here with the, um, family? No, it's a business trip, actually. I've got a meeting in Acapulco, and this was the perfect way to prepare for it. Ah, well, maybe you'll enjoy it so much next time you bring the, um, family. Doc, don't you have a heart to break or something? Ah, speak of the devil. We'll need to pick this up later. Can't wait to get back to this riveting conversation. Right. That's it? Something came up. So, how's your cat? Old, uh, what's his name? Herb? Oh, he's fine. And say, how's your wife? Old what's-her-name? Barbara? She's fine. Only she's not my wife anymore. Oh? We untied the knot last year. Oh. You want to have dinner with me tomorrow night? Oh. I wonder if they're on their first course or dessert. Well then, I see the menu has been refreshed. Try the veal, or coming up for air at some point. Hi. Here's your roast beef. May I take your order? I'll have what they're having. Me too. But let's have dinner first. Two roast beefs, please. How would you like yours? Well... Really? I like mine medium. Isn't that rare? Two roast beefs, please. Rare. Thank you. Believe me, the food here is excellent. Can't wait to. Oh, don't quit while you're on a streak. What is that? It's, um, time for me to take a pill for my allergy. As long as you're not allergic to me. Oh, no way, darling. As I was saying, 
It's not easy being a doctor on this ship. People sit at your table, they kiss, they don't pay any attention. I think this dumb thing went off early. I didn't even have time to eat dinner. It didn't, although if it did, it would have just evened out all the other times you were late. Don't forget my glasses. Anything else I need to know? That cute doctor is at our table, and he's mine. What did I tell you? Don't get me into situations I don't want to be part of. Oh, and fill me up a doggy bag, will ya? I've missed you. That's a disgusting habit. I've always thought so too. Two roast beefs. Rare. Rare? Don't you have an in-cut? Well done? You should have known, Denise. You should have known he had something up his sleeve when he decided on this cruise at the spur of the moment. Then why? Why didn't I realize? Why didn't I know? Why didn't you know? Because we wives are always the last to find out. Listen to me, Denise. This is only a fling. Just get over it. Just your typical run-of-the-mill fling with ten years of marriage and two kids. Now, I want you to get up, go have dinner, and act like you're having fun. That's right, having fun. Hello? Mr. Fedricks, I haven't been able to get a clean shot of your wife all day long. I told you I wasn't very good at this. I think maybe you'd better do it yourself. But I can still arrange to have her blown up. Who? Who is this? She's with him again? Isaac, this guy looks as if he's got teeth. And I bet you every one of them is as phony as he is. I didn't like that dude when I first met him. And when Doc told me he was married, I liked him even less. Ought to take him outside. If you do, be polite. Looks as if he's got some muscle underneath that $8 plated shirt. It doesn't bother me. Oh, it doesn't? No. I can outrun him. Listen. Doc and I already tried to bust him up. Now it's your turn. What do you want me to do? Do what you do best. Make a nuisance out of yourself. I don't have to tell you how to do that, do I? Oh, do I remember? Hi, Julie. Hey, you want to dance? No, thanks. Oh, okay. Then I'll just sit and chat for a while. Huh. Go for Smith, Buddy Stanfield. Hi. Hey, how about those Dodgers, huh? You baseball fan? No. Bucky? How about those Canadians? Huh. <sighs> no. Water polo? Track and field? Gymnastics? Come on, kiddo. Let's get out of here. Thank you. Don't let us interrupt you. How about shuffleboard? Boy! There's an underrated sport. Oh boy, that was Sally. Mr. and Miss Jinx would like these postcards delivered right away. I'd do it myself, but I have to stay here in case someone phones for more postcards. Doc? Gopher, I'd love to help, but I have an emergency hickey to deal with. What do you do for a hickey? Just get lucky. Isaac? Sorry, Gopher, but if I delivered those postcards, it'd take days before they got them. Why? 
because we turtles move very, very slowly. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Vince, Vince, would you take these down to cabin 314, please? Sure. Thank you. It's Sally and Francois, but that shouldn't be a problem. I don't even know why I said that. Welcome to the club, Vince. You won't get away this time, Mrs. Fredericks. Who's there? Did you want something? Ah! No, no, I'm fine. I'm just looking for my husband. Sorry. I haven't seen him. Ah! Man, this woman is so hard to photograph. I think she's on to me. Doctor, I need to talk to somebody. Okay, slow down, miss. Fredericks, listen, my... Oh, Fredericks. Yeah, the one with the surprise... Surprisingly good looks. Doctor, my husband's trying to kill me. What? He's in love with another woman, and they want me out of the way. Easy, Mrs. Fredericks. It's a conspiracy. He's in cahoots with half the people on this ship. I'm sure you're mistaken, Mrs. Fredericks. Come into my office. I'll give you something that'll help you relax. It's a mild sedative. You'll feel much better when you get some sleep. You're in on it too. Don't worry, sir. Anything you want, we'll make. You name it. Just a small pink cake. And on the top, Happy birthday, Denise. Great. I'll pass it along. A beautiful wife and a dedicated mother. Yes, sir. With all my love, forever and ever, till the end of time. That's it? Yeah. Oh, and I'd like it all spelled out in strawberries. Strawberries? How about pineapples? Wow, it's so refreshing out here. The clean, salty air, warm weather. Psst, that tall drink of beefcake over there keeps giving me the eye. I'm going in. Yeah, go for it. Hey, your collar's off. Yeah, I feel way better. Thanks. Here, take one on the house. Hi. Lovely weather, huh? I'll say. And not just the weather. Ah? Uh, wait, what do you mean? A beautiful woman like you wouldn't happen to have the time by any chance. Oh, sure. It's... Whoop! Wait, I don't wear a watch. Duh. My neck. Again. Would it make you nervous if I told you how beautiful you are? Your eyes have the glow of a thousand stars. Well, maybe one of them. You have very persistent friends, you know. Well, they're trying to protect me from you. Do you need protection? Frankly, I don't know. Excuse me. Oh. Captain Merle Steubing, Buddy Stanfield. May I? You're the captain. Is that him? Yes, it is. You're doing a nice job of avoiding him. Well, things are a little different now. I see. Julie, 
Miss McCoy. I think it's time I stopped being the human being and started being the captain again. For your own good. Now, it seems to me that on a ship filled with 600 passengers, the cruise director could find more than one person to spend all her time with. But sir, he's an old friend. Well, you can't have too many friends, Miss McCoy. Spread yourself around. Yes, sir. Well, we meet again. Finally! I've been looking all over for you. I don't get it. Last night? Well, last night was last night. But this is right now. How about a little preventive medicine? I've got some dra... Like what? Like rubbing some of this on my legs and back. And anywhere else I might get burned. How's my back? Delicious. It's your second best side. Ooh, it feels good. Now all I need is a drink to go with it. How about a pina colada? You read me like a book. Can't wait to get to the end of the chapter. Two pina coladas, my man. I always wondered how you managed to stay so cool. Turns out, you drink on the job. They're both for her. For medicinal purposes. They're the miracle cure for an acute lack of love life. <sighs> Just what the doctor ordered. Now, are you paying cash or is this on the med account? That's vastly amusing. What are you doing? But you asked. Why don't you go make a house call? Excuse me. Sir, is there anything? Oh, it's you. I haven't seen you all day. Where are you hiding, baby? I just... I've been very busy. Well, come join me for a while. I saved you a spot. Oh, um... Didn't someone call me? Yeah, I definitely heard someone yell my name. Coming! You find what you're looking for? Well, we can never be sure, can we? Come on, Julie. We've wasted too much time already. All these years. Buddy? I feel like with this cruise, you've been granted a second chance. Well, if at first you don't succeed... Yeah? Try, try again. I was just groped by that disgusting doctor. Well, that's not fair. I do all the work, and you get the reward? You'd better make sure there are no rewards left for me next time. Or better yet, leave that doctor alone. He's going to end up finding out our secret. Okay, okay, just relax, jeez. That's what I was trying to do before that doctor started rubbing my back. Hey, Denise! Denise! Ah! Who's laughing now? Something wrong with the drinks? How would I know? I haven't drunk them yet. Although the more you drink, the less you care. It's the ultimate catch-22. I wasn't listening. Hi, Isaac. How's the neck? Uh, it's okay. I sort of re-aggravated it. How's your wrist? Better. 
That was your hit. Moving on. Want to buy two drinks too? What the? How did the sick bay become the most densely populated area on my cruise ship? Captain, take my word for it. Watch out for Francois and Sally. Yeah, Doc told me all about your ridiculous jinx theory. Isaac, I'm surprised at you. With Gopher, I'd expect such naivete. Hey! It's not a ridiculous theory anymore. It's ridiculous reality. Grown men, all of you. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I am, usually. Apocalypse Twins at 9 o'clock. Hope you have good insurance. Excuse me, Captain. Our two guests here have a very special request. Sorry. No one drives the boat but me. See? Damn. But also, we were wondering if you could hook us up. Well, that's very flattering. But menage a trois aren't really my... See? She means let us dine at the captain's table. It's always been a dream of mine. Only a few of the nightmares. Why, I'm sure that can be arranged. Ah? Uh? Careful, careful. Isaac, some champagne for my lucky guests. We'll be right over there. Yeah, no way in the world I am joining that dinner. I still have one working hand that I value. I bet you do. You can count me out too. I'm over for 2 deckwise with that couple. Here, let me give you a hand with that. We can hear everything you're saying, by the way. And no offense taken. I can't believe it. You really honestly blame those poor sweet people for your injuries? Well, in my professional medical opinion, let me put it this way. Every time they're around, something horrible, albeit funny, has happened. Well, nothing's happened to... Ow, my eye! Well, I heard eye patches are all the rage in Paris right now. You know, it's hard to imagine that three years have passed. You don't seem any different, other than the missing eye. You're just the same, buddy. Yeah, same old buddy, same old Julie, same old feelings. Buddy, is all this just for old times sake? This is all for new times sake. Look, it's probably too soon to talk about it now, but I've got a deal cooking in Acapulco. And if I can pull it off, it'll change my life. It'll change our life. What do you mean? I don't want to rush into anything, Julie. But there's something I want to ask you tomorrow night. Oh, buddy, I don't know. I... See you tonight? Okay. Everything seems to be in order. Uh-huh. What's the matter with you lately? You seem like you've got your head way above the Earth's atmosphere. What? Oh, uh, nothing. Nothing. I'm fine. It's just... There's this girl. A passenger. Another passenger, Adam? Well, this one I can't quite figure out. One minute, there are sparks between us that could light a whole city. But the next, she doesn't even want to be around me. Maybe your charm is wearing off. Intermittently. Hi, guys. Isn't it a wonderful day? Julie, let us lay a hypothetical situation on you. Yeah, hypothetical situation. Let's say you were blindfolded. And you're about to step off the fantail of the ship. Into the propeller. Yeah, and we grab you and save your life. Wouldn't you thank us? I'll thank you to stay out of my affairs. Now she's getting the idea. Look. Things have changed between Buddy and me. First of all, he's divorced. I don't expect that to change your attitude, though. You never liked him to begin with. Just because he's arrogant, shifty-eyed, mean, self-centered. Stop beating around the bush. Look, guys, it's really cute that you're worried. 
but you've got it all wrong. Buddy is a wonderful guy, and he's practically asked me to marry him. I think he's going to pop the question after he closes his deal in Acapulco. What? Talk about rushing things. Julie, it seems to me that if marriage didn't stop him cheating before... No, but that was completely different. Just quit worrying, will you? But Julie... Doesn't this business deal in Acapulco sound strange to you? It so does. Why does he need to wait for that to pop the question? Come on, guys. We've got to trust Julie on this. She said it herself. These are her affairs, and I'm sure she'll do the right thing. Are you sure it's not because you're more interested in your affairs? Care to join me at a nice quiet table for two? How about a table for three? Me, Dr. Jekyll, and Mr. Hyde. Oh, I'm sorry. I realize I've been a little erratic. Actually, I owe you an apology. For what? Well, I was a little forward at the pool. Are you kidding? You're the only one who's making this trip enjoyable. Huh? Well, you have a weird way of showing it. There. Was that so weird? Yes. But that's the kind of weirdness I like. How about a few less people and a little more moonlight? Perfect. Tonight at nine would be just perfect. Now that was weird. Wow, Francois. I can't believe we're going to eat at an actual captain's table. I bet it's almost as nice as an admiral's. Does this ship have cannons? Maybe he'll let me fire a few of them. What are you doing? Feeding fish or seagulls. Whoever grabs them first. You're not going to throw food during the captain's dinner, are you? I don't know, Sal. I'm starting to have some doubts. Because the portholes will be closed? Nah, I brought a glass cutter. It's just... this ship. There's something not right about it. What do you mean? I'm just not sure the staff on this ship is very good. Every time they're around, they keep having accidents. It's like maybe they're all jinxed. Damn, that was my phone. See? Perfect example. Now, wasn't that worth waiting for? I bet we could do even better than that with practice. Do you need to take care of your allergies? No, don't worry. I don't think I'll be using that anymore. Where on earth is she? It's been more than four hours. Ugh, there's only one place she can be. I think I'm getting sick. I'll need to pay a visit to the doctor. Now. I have to go. What? I'm sorry. I really have to go. I'm not letting you go. No, I've got to go. Why? Oh, I wish I could tell you. You can tell me anything. For Pete's sake, I'm a doctor. That's it. I need to find her. You came back. You changed your mind? Have you lost yours? Yes, I have. I'm crazy about you. Doctor, I like this prescription. Can I get a refill? Look, Jacqueline, for the last time, I've met someone very special. She could be the one. You're wearing what?
What happened to you? Couldn't sleep. The sound of Gopher and Isaac moaning from their injuries kept me up all night. Look, I have to go. A dear friend of mine is in some serious medical... The pink silk ones? I thought maybe you could prescribe something. For Isaac and Gopher, or for you? Everybody. How shaved? Um, perhaps I should come back later. Look, Angel, I'm sorry, but I'm in love. Try me in six months. There's nothing you can say, creamy or chunky. Ellen, I'm sorry, I... It's okay. It's just, I was having such a good time with Doc. Tell me about it. You sure took a long time, too. Not that I don't deserve it, of course. Did you have fun at least? Oh boy, I sure did. Listen, there's... What? Never mind. Good night. Oh, that was delicious. I can barely breathe. If there's one thing this cruise is famous for, it's the excellent food. Really? I thought it was for the sexy doctor. Oh shoot, I need to go. Talk to you later? Missing me already? You bet. Oh, I think I'll order one of those amazing steaks. I'm starving. What? But... You... Oh, come on, Doc. Haven't you heard? Love opens up the appetite. Okay. I guess I'll have another steak too, then. Sorry I'm late. I have so much stuff to take care of. The cake, the decorations, the music... I've never seen a man go through so much trouble to give his wife a surprise party. Oh, she's worth it. By the way, I found the perfect gift for her. Oh yeah? That's fantastic. It's a gold choker. Beautiful. A gold choker? That's a terrific idea. Great. So I'll go get the choker in a minute. What size neck does she have? I don't know. Why? Well, it should fit snugly to look its best. Oh, what am I going to do? I can't just ask her her size, because that'll give it away. I can't just walk up to her and measure it. That's right. You got any ideas? Yes. Tonight, wait until she's asleep. Then take a sash from your bathrobe, slip it around her neck, Pull yourself together, Denise. That's better. Now remember, when he knocks on the door, don't let him in. Don't let him in. What did you say? Ah! Oh, Denise, you look beautiful. What are you doing here? Don't you remember? We share a room. Hey, something the matter? No, no, nothing. I'm just not feeling very well. I have a cold, a slight cold. Oh, poor baby. Let me take a look at your throat. No, it's nothing. You know, I think it's probably better if I stayed in. Why don't you go dancing? Alone? The way they dance today, it really doesn't matter. I can't have a good time without you. 
so why don't I stay in too? We'll relax, and um, I'll catch up on some reading. Finally, I've been thinking about this all day. But we just saw each other. Ah, honey, the time we're not together doesn't exist for me either. Look, I got you a little something. Now you can finally find out how it ends. What? It's the sequel to that book you told me about. I know you couldn't get it anywhere here, but I've got my contacts. I told you about that? Oh, she's dead. Just when I think I'm starting to figure her out. Here, this is for you. Whoa, thank you, Helen. Where did you get it? Actually, Doc gave it to me as a present. Funny, isn't it? Well, that could be anything. It is a very popular book. Come on, Ellen. We've always been truthful with each other, right? Since we were kids. Okay. I've been seeing Doc. I'm afraid I've fallen for him. You? Fallen for Doc? You don't fall for guys. You get a tan. I thought you said you didn't like him. I didn't. Until he kissed me. Oh, sure. So I did your warm-up. Well, it was your idea to go on this crazy trip. Two for the price of one. What now, genius? Listen to us. We haven't argued like this since we were kids. Who could use the roller skates? How did we solve that one? We got rid of the roller skates. He's such a good guy. We can't just drop him without an explanation. I'll tell him tomorrow. Maybe I should do it. Just leave it to me. Denise? Denise, why don't you go to bed? It's midnight. I'm hungry. I want another sandwich. Denise? You've ordered up from room service seven times. Come on, it's late. You'll be dead in the morning. Come on. Okay, I just want to finish reading this book first. I'm at the most exciting part. What page are you on? Three. Denise, are you asleep, honey? Ah! Denise! Well, here we are. Acapulco. I should be back before the evening. Can't wait. Oh, and good luck on the deal. Thanks, babe. It should be pretty much smooth sailing, unless something strange happens. Okay, let's bust this phony. And I just... I couldn't stop her. We need to tell the captain, Bert. Need to tell me what, Miss McCoy? How do you do that, Captain? It's my wife, sir. She's been missing since this morning. I don't know what happened, but she just started running like she was possessed. I mean, she'd been acting weird these last few days, but she's always edgy when we travel. I see. I'm worried she might have run into the city or something. I'll contact the local authorities immediately. Rest assured, Mr. Fredericks, whether she's inside or outside the ship, we'll find your wife.
I think this is the secret meeting location. What an amazing deduction. Well, I don't usually say this because I don't like to brag, but I used to be a hotel detective. In what world is that bragging? Shh, someone's coming. I knew it. The bastard seeing someone. We need to go tell Julie right now. No, we need some evidence first. Luckily, I've got my camera right here. What are you doing? They're gonna see you. Relax, I've got it. Gopher? Isaac? What is this? You brought people to spy on us? This is not how we do business here. The deal's off. No, wait, wait. They're just some crew members from the ship. I have no idea what they're doing here. But I sure hope they have an excellent reason for the interruption. Gopher, Isaac, this is the purchasing manager of the company we're trying to close a deal with. We're so sorry for the confusion. Well, hello there. Can I come in? I don't know. Do you have an appointment? It's an emergency. I have something to tell you. Then tell me, like you told me last night. Please, Doc. Let me say what I have to say. Talk to me. Well, I wanted to come and... And? Do we need all this light? That's what I was going to ask you. Hi, Francois. Oh, I don't know. Something just told me it was you. Helen? Yeah? Did you see Doc? Yeah. You spoke to him then? Yeah. Thanks, Helen. Was he terribly upset when you told him it was over? I think he got the message. You sure took long enough. I wanted to let him down easily, the way we agreed. Right? Uh-huh. Doctor, you're in great shape. All you need now is a little rest and... Some rest. A little rest would be nice. Who is it? It's me. I've changed my mind about breaking up. Forget it. If we've been breaking up, I wonder what getting together is like. Helen. Do you always talk to yourself? Only when I'm in the mood for love. I'll need a vitamin shot. You two, you almost blew up my deal. Oh, that? We were just, just... There's this missing woman from the cruise, you see. We were just looking for her. Isn't that her? So, did it go well? Not exactly, thanks to your friends. My friends? Well, I guess they really care about you. And who can blame them? You're such a wonderful girl. I'm so glad it came out well in Acapulco in the end. I want to have you for my very own. Always. You do? It won't be like it was before. I was deceiving you, I was deceiving Barbara, and I was deceiving myself. We don't have to do that anymore. If you marry me. Oh, I'm so happy. We'll get the most fantastic penthouse in Los Angeles. We'll travel together, and you're going to see places you've never seen in your life. We'll be happy. I know we will. You mean more to me than anyone in the whole world. But I don't want you to leap into this. Sleep on it if you need to. And tomorrow, 
Tomorrow you can give me your answer. Good night, baby. Night, buddy. Golfer, hey. Would you mind putting lotion on my back? Uh, can't. Sorry. See? Hand bandaged. Bandaged. And they're right handed, so... Whoa, whoa! Easy with that, fool. You can't fish here, are you crazy? Relax, man. I have a fishing license application in a drawer somewhere. Gopher, please do my back for me. I'm right-shouldered, so your left hand's fine. Why doesn't Francois there do it? He doesn't do it right. It's true. Some nuances elude me. I have a lot of person to assist. If we put lotion on your bandage, maybe it'll tan into one of those flesh-toned band-aids. Isn't that how those are made? Seriously? There are flesh-colored band-aids? What a millennium so far. Wait! Cast in that direction! I was going to anyway, silly. Fish are always in that spot. Okay. I'm in for one shoulder blade. Need some help with that lotion, miss? Sure. You the witch doctor? Some call me a shaman. Others call me Baron Samdi. One man calls me Grandma Judith for some reason. He drinks very much. I'm Isaac's friend. Yes, I know. Because of your psychic ability? Because you came up to me and whispered, You the witch doctor? But my psychic ability tells me you were injured many times lately. Well, I think that's a little obvious from the bandages. If you doubt my powers, then we have nothing further to discuss. Look, I'm sorry. I was out of line. Have you tried seeing a normal doctor? You have bruises, broken bones. They handle those often. There's a jinxed couple on our ship. We want them taken care of. For spiritual reasons, I have renounced murder. For anything other than premium rates. No, what? I just want the jinx or hex on them lifted off. Ah, yes. That is much cheaper. Although killing them would also lift the hex. In some cases. If you can help it, please don't let my captain see you. He'll probably disapprove of this transaction. I am like the wind that breaks. Uh, yeah. Isaac said you helped him once with a stalker who pushed his apartment? Yes. She and I are now married. Tell him she wants her frying pan back. How will I know when the curse is lifted? If it is not lifted, the next time you see them will be your last. You are blocking my way. You look tired, Dr. Bricker. Still having trouble with that lady. Well, you remember how you said my charm might be wearing off? I seem to have got it back. So that's good? I guess. Although perhaps it's too much of a good thing. Look, I like this girl. I really, really do. But she's driving me crazy. I think I need to break it off with her. Against all my wishes. Yeah, thanks, Captain. Your advice is wise, as always. I think I might need to start setting some boundaries again with the crew. Oh, 
Oh. Hello, buddy. I I have a question. Of course, Julie. What's the question? It's a blunt question. Shoot. Why didn't you ever leave Barbara for me back then? Were there others? Julie, Barbara was Barbara. It was completely different. Julie, I swear, I, I'm more terrified than anyone else of making the same mistakes all over again. So am I. Good morning. Morning. Hey, don't do this to me. Did he pop the question? Of course he did. He did? I just, um, I haven't given him my answer yet. Look, you'll have to excuse me. I'm a little preoccupied. I've got a very big decision to make. Who knows? This could be my last cruise. I have some passengers to see. Julie, wait a minute. Any news? Nobody's seen her in the city. Although that may have something to do with Gopher's terrible candid shot we've been using to ask around. Today's her birthday. If... if she could see the party I was preparing for her. Mr. Frederick, we need to prepare to leave port. They'll still keep an eye out for her, though. If she appears, you'll be the first to know. Thanks. Oh, Francois, look at all of this. Why don't we just move down here? Why not? Yes. Ah, look, Francois. It's a panhandler. I am a shaman. I sense you two are good friends. The spirits wish me to consecrate your visit to this island. Ooh, that's disgusting. But okay, I'll try anything once. Owa Tugu Siam Owa Tugu Ah Ah Why Oh I'm sorry. I have this fear of dolls. Are you okay? No No you don't. You love dolls. One doll, but most terrify me. In movies they're always haunted. Why not? Kick the doll, then. Ow! I'll go get help. Kill me! Hey, can you help find lost objects? I thought my phone was a dinner roll. I just don't see how it can be all their fault every time. You guys have to be contributing a little. Says the guy who's been hiding in his office ever since we put ashore. I'm married to my work. The day you're monogamous for 10 straight minutes is the day I run for Congress. Don't worry, I know my guy. He always comes through. You think we got through the Bermuda Triangle unscathed last year without any help? Baron Samdi? Grandma Judith? Here's your money back. Please don't call me again. You didn't lift the curse? This goes beyond a curse. Those two are twin harbingers of destruction and ruin, beyond anything I have ever faced. In this world, or the next. If it's more money you want. There isn't enough money in the world. You and all aboard this ship are marked. It will not complete this voyage. Mr. Fredericks, you should start heading back to the ship. You need to get ready. I have everything prepared already. Just tell me when it's time. 
I want to stay here until the last second. Just in case. Very well, then. Just hold on until they leave. Then you can call for help. Just hang on a little more. God, I'm so hungry. Mr. Fredericks, now it really is time. Hey, Mr. Fredericks. Don't worry, it's us. The blessed couple. We're here to make sure your wife isn't bothering you anymore. No, I think he's missing her. Because he's not a good shot? Oh no, it's that cursed couple. It's the last thing I need. Oh no, 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 go away. Come on, go away. Denise! Doctor! We need a doctor. Well, it seems she's stable. Thank God I was here. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you, Doctor. When will she wake up? I don't think it'll take long. She's doing very well. Great. Thank you. Mr. Fredericks, how is she? Is something wrong? No, yes. We need to get her birthday party ready before she wakes up. How's the neck doing? Worse than ever. Well, at least it's not the same. Yikes! Incoming! Okay, I'm sterilized. Handwise, I mean. Ready to assist. The examination's already over. In fact, you were there afterwards when I said she was stable. We did it. Isaac, are you avoiding us? No? Please don't hurt me. Hurt you? I never hurt bartenders. It's one of her rules. Well, more of a guideline. That was a sous chef, and he was really asking for it. If someone asked you to jump off a cliff with them, would you do that? Mm, case by case. Yeah, me too. Why would I ever hurt Isaac? Sally, Francois, I'm afraid our excitable friend here thinks you two are jinxed. But, in fact, Denise's fall could have been much worse. In fact, it's almost as if there were a guardian angel around, or two. Really? I didn't see any, and I'm always on the lookout for UFOs. No, I meant you guys. Ah. Tell her it was our pleasure. Next time she's planning a fall, if she texts us, we'll try to swing by. I guess we should go get ready for our dinner, huh? Oh yeah, catch you later, Isies. You okay? My neck, when she hit me. Uh, worse? No, better, but I'm keeping it, just in case. Mrs. Fredericks, are you feeling all right? What, where? Where am I? Don't worry. We've figured everything out. Come with me, please. Yeah, right. Doc just called. They'll be here any minute. Everyone, quick! We need to hide. Surprise! Happy after birthday, honey. Since you spent your birthday unconscious and all.
Why did you do all this? Well, I just wanted to give my wife a surprise birthday party. Why didn't you tell me that? If I told you, it wouldn't have been a surprise. But who was that man on the telephone who said he was trying to shoot me? I confess. But this is what I wanted to shoot you with. I wanted some candid shots to put up at the party. Julie coordinated everything, even the present. I was only trying to measure your neck, silly. Oh, it's beautiful. Friends, I'd like to toast our two new friends, Sally and Francois, two people whose presence on the ship has been a joy for all. I've been friends with Sally ever since we arbitrarily vowed to take a hot air balloon ride together. But then we decided a luxury cruise would be better for the environment. Very inspiring. And to think that some members of my crew actually thought that you two sweet people were... Siamese twins? We get that a lot. Because of his name, I used to assume Francois was German. Damn. Here's to a night we'll forget, with friends we won't remember. And with it being such a wonderful night, let's head to the lounge. You're all invited to a birthday party. What an apocalypse. Don't we have PAs for this? Well, at least we're all still in one piece. Yeah, how about that? Not one thing went wrong. I guess the captain's toasts cure jinxes. Who was it that said, We have nothing to fear, but fear itself? Me! But I meant to say spiders. Well, you guys ready to go? Oh, who said let there be cake? Hey, Helen! How was the party? There's still some cake left for you. Helen? You there? Ah. Oh. Doc! What are you doing here? Listen, I've been meaning to talk to you. This is not an easy thing for me to say. We've had a lot of fun. I mean, a lot. And you're such a great girl. Whoa! How did you do that? You were just there! What do you mean? I was here all along. Well, anyway, point is, I really don't want to hurt you, but I think it would be best if we stopped seeing each other. I just think that... Oh, will you just leave already? Well, that was close. I told you we'd end up getting caught. That wouldn't have happened if you weren't still seeing him. You were still seeing him, too. I guess this is for the best. Yeah. I'm sorry you got dumped. I'm sorry you got dumped, too. Ugh. Am I glad this cruise is almost over? So, what happened with Julie? He popped the question. What? Oh, I know you guys. From Acapulco. I need to find the man I was with, Buddy Stanfield. Oh, I see. I think I remember him. Is he kind of a tall dude? 
Uh huh. Real cute. Cute as a button. Well, you can have him called, but um, is he expecting you? It's a surprise. After our business meeting finished, things heated up a little. I know he said it was only a one-time thing, but I can't get it out of my head. I'd even move to L.A. just to be with him. Isn't that cute? Cute as a bug in a rug. Well, maybe I'll go look for him. He's going to be so surprised. We should speak to Julie. We gotta speak to Julie. Hey, buddy. Hey, babe. I, I've got my answer. Buddy, I'm sorry, but my answer is no. What? Look, I know how it is to be your lover. Now, I don't know if things would be different. I don't know if you've changed. But I know I have. And now, I just couldn't live with the uncertainty. Gopher, I have something to tell you. But I have something to tell you. No, me first. I talked with Buddy. You did? Um, Gopher and me, uh, we don't have any secrets. I said no. There was a time I would have given anything for this to happen. But you know what? Now I feel a million times better. I'll admit I just had a world-shaking cry. But since then... Well, let's just say I'm glad I got that off my chest. Now, what was it you wanted to tell me? Oh, right. I... I... I can't remember. Can you? Listen, man. My mind is a complete blank. Ah, uh, business as usual. What a cruise. Isn't life grand? Oh, Francois, it's perfect. Guess we can cross cruises off our bucket list. Now, we only have one goal left. Play mixed doubles tennis on the moon. Hmm, sounds too easy. Does it have to be our moon? Here, win at mixed doubles tennis against a team on a different moon. Fives. Oh, by the way, I just pulled what I thought was a slot machine lever and a big chain spun, and the anchor smashed through the ship's hull. Should I tell someone? Is that your car? Under all those tickets? Guess I wasn't allowed to park there after all. Don't worry, it's only been a few weeks. You think me getting a parking ticket is a sign we're jinxed? Nah. Now it's getting towed. Still nah. Look, now a truck's hitting it. And a plane's. Okay, okay. We get it. Ellen, I guess this is goodbye. Doc, I love you. Here's my number at work. The end of another wonderful, permanent love affair? I don't believe it. I've met some fascinating women in my time, but this one... You're back! I can't say goodbye. Here's my number at the office. Call me. I love you.
I was sure I had to break it off. But now, this might be the beginning of a wonderful permanent love affair. Oh, Doc. And after I broke off my relationship for you? Does this mean it's over between us? Who are you? Ouch. Oh, what a wonderful woman. Sometimes she's reserved. Sometimes she's exciting. Then she's sweet. Then she's a rock. And now, look at this. What? She even holds down two jobs. No. Well, I guess this means it's not over between us. Well, Julie, I guess I'll see you around. I'll be here. It could have been great, you know. Oh, I'm sure. It always was. But I don't think it would have been good. Not even a flicker of the old flame? Excuse me, Julie. Are you... okay? Yes, sir. The old eye's just fine. How about the old heart? Well, it could use a patch too, but I'll survive. Carry on, Miss McCoy. I'll do my damnedest. Thank you, sir. Have a nice weekend, sir. I intend to. If anyone wants me, I'll be visiting an old friend of mine on that yacht over there. By the way, I've been thinking. It all went rather nicely this trip. Despite all your superstitious childness concerning Francois and Sally, by now I hope you buffoons realize there's no such thing as a jinx. No jinx, my eye. And my head? My neck. My wrist? My world! Everything that happened was your own negligence. Nothing more, nothing less. But sir, we... Please. Until you stop falling over your own feet, I suggest you all keep up your insurance payments. Guess he told us. He certainly did. Where's Captain Stubbing? We wanted to say goodbye and to thank him again for hosting us. If not for the seasickness, I might have kept some of it down. Oh, what a shame. You just missed him. Actually, he's right over there. Oh, Captain Sturbing. We just wanted to say thank you and offer you a complimentary haircut at Sally's Salon. My pleasure. <laughs>